Hello viewers, I am Dr. Pinaki Ghosh, Professor and Head of the School of Advanced Computing, Sage University, Bhopal. My today's topic is Arithmetic Functions, specifically Addition. So uh, there are three types of addition or adder, half adder, uh, full adder and triple carry adder. Half adder is a two input one bit width binary adder that performs the following computations. So basically the computations are we have two bits, uh, two different bits say x and y are the two bits. So this is the bit 1 and y is the second bit. So when we add x and y we get uh, the output in two bit form. Uh, S and C. So where the sum is expressed as sum bit S and carry bit C. So I have taken four examples. Uh, the X could be 0 or 1. Similarly, Y could be 0 or 1. So we have four combinations of X and Y values where X is 0 and Y is 0. So when we add 0 with 0, we get the Permission 0 and carry 0. Now when we add uh, when x is 0 and y is 1 or in case x is 1 and y is 0. So we get uh, the addition of 0 and 1 is 1 and carry 0. The same case with 1 and 0 when x is 1 and y is 0. In this case also we get uh, sum 1 and carry 0. Now, uh, the fourth case is when x and y both are 1. So, when we add 1 with 1, we get the sum 0 and carry 1. So, we add 1 and 1, we get sum 0 and carry 1. So, 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 or 1 plus 0 is basically 1. And 1 plus 1 is 0 with 1 carry. So this is how the half adder works. So basically half adder takes two input bits and produces two output bits. Uh, <coughs> we can uh, represent this in the form of the truth table where the x and y are the inputs and c and s are the outputs. So when both the inputs are 0, the carry and sum both are 0. When one input is 0 and another is 1, in any case either x0 and y1 or x1 and y0. So one input is 0 and the second input is 1. In the both cases we get the sum 1 and carry 0. And when both the inputs are 1, we get sum 0 and carry 1. So this is the truth table of the half adder. Now we can represent this in terms of k map. So in k map, uh, say this column is y. So this is y, and the uh, this row is x. So it means <coughs> in these both blocks, x is one. In these both blocks, x is zero. Similarly, in these both blocks, y, this one and this one, y will be 1 and in these both blocks, y will be 0. So, when uh, y is 1 but x is 0, the sum is 1. Similarly, when x is 1 and y is 0, the sum is 1. But when x and y both are 0, the sum is 0, means we didn't get anything any output. Similarly, when x and y both are 1, we don't get any output. This is the Karnoff map or k map for the function s. This is the k map for the function c, carry. So, c is generated if and only if x and y both are 1. So, uh, we can say that in this block, the first block or 0th block, the x and y both are 0. In a block number 1, the x is 0 but y is 1. In this block, 
x is 1 and y is 0 and in this block x is 1 and y is 0. Sorry, x is 1 and y is 1. So the first uh, bit is for representing x and the second bit representing y. So 0, 0 means x and y both are 0. So the carry, we didn't get any carry. When x0 and y1, we don't get any carry. When x1 and y0, we don't get any carry. But when x and y both are 1, we get carry 1. So uh, by simplifying this function, we can say that the sum s, we will get s if and only if 1 is uh, any of the input is 1 and the other input is 0. So, if this block we say in this block, what is the uh, represent of this block? This block is x and y not because y is true in this column. And in this column, y is false. Similarly, x is true for this row and for this row, x is false. So, this one represent the, uh, the block number 2, which means here the x is true and y is false. So, y bar. So, this block is x dot y bar. Similarly, what is this block? This block is x naught because here x is false but y is true. So, the represent representation of this block is x0 and y. x0 and y. So, this is the representation of this block. So, we can simplify this schema with this formula. So, s equals to x dot y0 and x0 dot y. So, plus represents the or. In logic, plus represent or and dot represent and. So, it is x and y naught or x naught and y. So, we can get sum equals to 1 in two cases. The first case is where x is true and y is false or the second case where x is false and y is true. So, this is the formula for S. So, if we break this formula, uh, this is basically a sum of product. We can convert it into a product of sum. So, when we convert this into a product of sum, we get x plus y and x naught plus y naught. So, x or y and x naught or y naught. The formula of C will be the C is 1 if and only if there is only one condition when C is 1, this block number 3. And in block number 3, we know that x is true and y is true. So, both are true. So, this block represents x and y, where x and y both are true. So, C is represented by x and y. Now, can we simplify this formula again? So, what is this basically? When Either one is true and the other one is false. But both cannot be true at the same time and both cannot be false at the same time. So, either the first one is true and the second one is false or the first one is false and the second one is true. So, this is represented by a simple logical function that is XOR. So, X, XOR, Y. XOR means exclusive OR. Exclusive OR represents a, the output will be 1 if and only if exactly one input is 1 and the other input is 0. So, there is a difference between OR and XOR. In OR, any of the input is 1, it will produce 1. It will produce 1 in that case also where both inputs are 1. Means, we need at least one input to be 1. And in XOR, we need exactly one input as a 1. So, in case both the inputs are 1, we will get 0. 
so here we see that when both inputs are zero we get a zero here and when both inputs are one we get zero here so we get one only if the any of the input is one and the other input is zero so either x is one and y is zero or x is zero and y is one so it is represented by x x or y c will be represented by x and y so the logic is xor here and the logic is and here so this is simple and now come to the implementation of half adder so the half adder can be implemented by taking two inputs and two logical gates one is the xor gate this is the xor gate and one is the and gate this is the and gate so we <coughs> provide both the inputs to the XOR gate and both the inputs to the AND gate. So the output of the XOR gate is SUM and the output of the AND gate is CARRY. So this is the simple implementation of half header using one XOR gate and one AND gate. And this is the implementation of half header using NAND gate. What is a NAND gate? NAND gate is basically negative AND. So we negate the output of the AND gate and it becomes a NAND gate. So this is little much complicated but uh, the NAND gate is easy to implement in computers. So therefore most of the circuits are uh, implemented with NAND gate. So this is the implementation of NAND gate and this is the implementation using one XOR gate and one AND gate. So these two types of implementation of half adder. So when you pass say for example I am passing 0 and 1 here so x y we get xor of x and y so because one input is 0 and the another input is 1 your sum will uh, be produced 1 and the similarly the 0 and 1 is applied in this AND gate so after this uh, the AND operation we will get a 0 carry. Similarly, suppose we take uh, another example, say uh, 1 and 1. So if both the inputs are 1, so here 1 and 1 inputs, the so 1 and 1, the XOR of 1 and 1 is 0. And similar, the 1 and 1 input goes here. So the end of 1 and 1 is 1. So we get uh, 0 sum and carry 1 if both the inputs are 1. Next is the full adder. Full adder is basically a uh, half adder, but it includes a carry in bit from the lower stages. It means it has three inputs. So these are the three inputs x, y, and z. We say the z is the carry in. Carry in bit. So this is how the <coughs> uh, full adder works. So when the Z is 0, in all the case, the Z is 0, it is working as the similar half adder. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 0, 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1, and 1 plus 1, uh, sorry, 1 plus 0 is 0, 1, and 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. So it is similar to the half adder I previously uh, discussed. Now when the carry bit Z is equals to 1. So when z is 1, then it becomes 1 plus 0 plus 0, that is 1 and 0 carry, 1 plus 0 plus 1. So 0 plus 1 is basically 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 1, so we know that 1 plus 1 is carry 1 and some 0, 1, 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. Similarly, 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. Now we have another, uh, the last one is little bit tricky because we already know that 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. So the last bit is 0 and the first bit is 1. So we add the last bit with this carry in bit. So when we add 1 with 0, it will produce 1. So because we already have our carry generated, so the carry will be as it is. And 1 plus 0 becomes 1 because 1 plus 0 is 1. We can see here 
So 1 plus 0 is 1. So when all the three inputs are 1, we get sum 1 and carry 1. So the, the carry is 0 if and only if the uh, two inputs are 0 and only one input is 1. So in any case, when one input is 1 and two zeros, the carry will be 0. If more than one bit is uh, 1, then the carry becomes 1. So here, uh, two ones, the carry is 1. Here also, their number of ones are 2, the carry is 1. Number of 1s are 2, carry is 1. Number of 1s are 3, then also carry is 1. So carry will be 0 if and only if the number of 1s are only 1 or 0. Now how to implement? Uh, this is the truth table of full adder. So similar to the previous example. So it is shown in the tabular form 0, 0, 0, carry 0, sum 0 and similarly when we get these four inputs, uh, the first four inputs are like the same half adder. It is like the half adder and the, this inputs are changed. So it is 1, 0, 0 is 0, 1 and 1, 0, 1 input is 1, 0. Similarly, 2, 1 and 1, 0 is 1, 0 and 3, 1 will get some 0, some 1 and carry 1. This is the KMF for full adder. So we have 1 in these, these uh, conditions. The sum is 1 when uh, in he here uh, the K map is like that. Uh, these two columns are Y. So in both the column Y is true and in, in this column it is Y dash. Similarly this row is for X and this row is for X dash. And these two columns, the center two columns are for Z and this column is for Z dash and this column is also for Z dash. So uh, the sum is 1 when one input is 1 and the remaining two inputs are 0. You can see here when the sum is 1, when out of 3 there is 1, 1. Then again 1 when there is single 1. The next one where there is a single 1. And the next one when all the 3 are 1. So in 3 cases, in three cases it will produce 1 if the number of 1's is either 1 or 3. So if the number of 1's are 2, the sum will be 0. So similarly here, when x is 1 and z and y are 0, it will produce a 1. When x is false and y is false but z is true, 1. When y is true, x is false and z is false, then 1. And when all the 3 are true. In this block, block number 7, the x, y and z all are 1. All are 1. So this is how the KMF representation is. Similarly, for carry, the carry is generated when at least two ones are there. So the carry is generated where two ones are there. Again, the carry is generated where two ones are there and the carry is generated where two ones are there or all the ones means two or more one. So when two or more one is there, it will generate carry. And some will generate it when there is only one one or three one. So when two one, it means the x positive, y positive, z positive, y negative. Okay two ones. Here y positive, z positive but x negative or x is uh, 0. Similarly here the z is false, y is true and x is true and this where all the three are true. So this is the k-map representation of full adder. 
This is the full header implementation. So we can implement the full header using two half headers. So the X and Y input goes to the first half header and <coughs> the sum and carry. The sum of the first half header with the Z means the third input. So these are the input for the second header, second half header. So the sum output of the first half header and the third input goes to the second half header and it produces the final sum. And now how the carry is generated? The carry of the first header and the carry of the second header. So or we or the carry of the first header and the carry of the second header oring of these two carry give you the final carry. So this is how the full adder is implemented. Now this is the ripple carry binary adder. So ripple carry binary adder is basically uh, it is a multi-bit uh, binary adder where because in this all <coughs> we are adding only one bit numbers. Now if we have multi-bit number then we use this 4-bit ripple carry binary adder. So here, uh, the, uh, say we are using 4-bit ripple carry adder, so we use 4 full adders. The full adder 1, full adder 2, full adder 3, full adder 4. Suppose our inputs are A and B. So the first bit means 0th bit of A and B goes to the full adder first. The first bit of A and B goes to the full adder second. The second bit of A and B goes to full adder third. And the third bit of A and B goes to the full adder number 4. So now this C0 is the initial carry if there is some carry from the previous stage. So initially it will be 0 because there is no initial carry. So A0 and B0 it will produce one sum bit and one carry bit. So suppose this sum bit is S0 and carry bit is C1. So now uh, in 4 bit ripple carry binary adder, we propagate the carry to the next stage. So when A0 and B0 adds, it produces a sum and produces one carry also. The sum bit goes to the output and this carry is propagated to the next full order. So now the next full adder will add A1, B1 and this C1. So these three will be added and it will pro again produce one sum and one carry. The sum S1 will be produced here and the carry will be feed it to the next full adder. So the final carry will be generated from the last full adder stage. So this C4 is the final carry bit. So when we add two four bit number, the output will be at most five bits, four bits of sum and one bit of carry. So this is how the ripple carry binary adder works. So uh, this is how the, uh, what are the binary adders? I think uh, the concept is clear to you. So, Please view this, like and share with your friends also and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.